recording. This lathe and everything we're doing here is all about products. Now, in getting any type of a product, we have to have a design. So, think about it. If you have a, uh, some, something in mind, get a design. We get the design, then we can make or start making the product. And how do we do that? First off, we can use metal castings. Or, we can also use a lathe. And we also need to use a CNC mill, and sometimes uh, we use a regular milling machine. Now we'll explain these things later. And also, we need to use an EDM machine sometimes in order to get square corners. If you ever tried to get a square corner with a round drill, you know what I'm talking about. Well, here we have, we're going to start with a lathe. Right here, this whole thing is what we call a lathe. And we start out with the latest thing. We always have to use mathematics and numbers, so we have a little digital computer here that Did you shut it off? No. That will help us in determining what size to make the uh, part that we want to make. And what we do is that then we can put that part into this here uh, tool here that's called the chuck and we could uh, center it up and get it ready to work with. But we also have to have or understand the speed that we want this chuck to turn at. And so these are your levers giving you different speeds. And this whole thing here is called the head. And down here we can get if we want threads and we want to adjust the speed again for threads. Certain threads we can do it with this. We also have an on-off switch down here. We can use that to start and stop the machine. Down here, if you ever have any problems, you got a brake. And uh, that brake will stop this head here. Okay, <clears throat> now we have what you call here, these are the waves that keep the uh, whole part, the tool, all on center and traveling correctly back and forth so we can get uh, make parts rather up to uh, within the thousandths of an inch or even finer depending on the uh, tools, measuring tools that we use. This here is a lead screw. That screw is used for threading and this one down here is used also for feeding, making this table go back and forth. Now, <clears throat> up here, this whole system is called the apron, down across here. And on this apron, we have a compound. A compound but down below the compound, there's what we call a cross slide that we can turn with this handle here, back and forth. And this is our compound. We could set it at different degrees to the left or to the right. And uh, the degrees are down here. Difficult to see, but later on we'll show you more about it. This is where the tool fits. And we have a different tools that fit in there. For an example, this is one here. It would fit in here and this particular part is the cutting edge. It would cut the steel for us. Now down here on this apron we have the uh, handle for t uh, turning this cross line back and forth and if we tune in on this real close, you will see that 
there are graduations. They're graduated in thousandths of an inch and uh, the whole turn is around two hundred thousandths. And down here we have the same thing which would allow uh, to us to gra uh, know how far we're turning the part. And it's graduated in thousands also. And over on this side, we have different handles for having uh, running this cross slide automatically back and forth or running this whole apron back and forth like this. And these are the adjustments down here. On this side, there's another little tool that uh, we use when we're cutting threads. It constantly turns and we stop on certain numbers when we're cutting a certain thread back and forth. Over here we have what you call, uh, this here is the tail stock. It's called the tail stock because it's in the back end of the machine and if we have a place here where we can put uh, a drill chuck and uh, centers to hold our uh, part up against the chuck out in that area. And then we can also run our drill back and forth with the hand wheel on the tailstock. And so if you could familiarize yourself with this, we'll go into detail. But this is one of the machines that we use for producing molds or dies and that makes us tool makers, mold makers, or machinists, whatever you want. And uh, there's several other machines that we'll get into later in our other videos. <laughs>